You're watching TV13, telling you what's happening on Utilsat. There are days when the range of TV programmes seems very limited, despite the choice of three or four programmes. And not everyone can receive even that many. At any rate, one thing is for sure. Our audiovisual world is too cramped. The solution to this problem lies in space. Looking down from space, frontiers disappear. The first to benefit from this were the radio stations. In space, radio waves can travel unimpeded. They maintain their direction over unlimited distances. Under these circumstances, communication from one point on our planet to another via the atmosphere requires a reflector or a switching station to collect and focus the signals and transmit them back to Earth. Modern telecommunication satellites are reflectors of this kind. They receive waves from Earth and transmit them back. The waves carry signals, for sound or television pictures. The first satellites for TV transmission were not very efficient. He took an antenna with a diameter of 30 meters to receive them. In the meantime, almost 100 TV satellites have been launched into orbit. 30 of them are responsible for supplying Europe. Some are so powerful that they can be received by antennae with a diameter of less than 80 centimeters. Observation satellites orbit our planet at an altitude of several hundred kilometers. They make one complete orbit of the Earth in less than 90 minutes. To receive signals from one of these satellites, an antenna would have to follow its movements in orbit constantly, rather impractical for television reception. At an altitude of 36,000 kilometers, though, satellites move at the same speed as the Earth itself. So, seen from Earth, they appear to be standing still. They're located in what is known as geostationary orbit. A satellite antenna is easier to install than an ordinary terrestrial one, as it isn't necessary to install it high up on the roof. It's sufficient to know the position of the satellite you want to receive. The alignment depends on the exact place the antenna is installed. To receive UTELSAT 2F1, the antenna has to be set differently in London from in Aberdeen. In the London area, UTELSAT 2F1 is located at an azimuth of 163 degrees and an elevation of 30 degrees. But don't panic, it's all very simple. All you need is a compass, a protractor and a spirit level. The compass indicates the direction, the protractor the elevation. With this little help, the job becomes even simpler. First, you determine the vertical line with the spirit level. Then you set the elevation using the scale on the mounting of the antenna. Finally, you set the entire antenna by lining the compass up against it. But the antenna on its own isn't enough to receive satellite programs. The satellite signals are transmitted on different frequencies from the usual terrestrial channels. So you need a satellite receiver, which is simply connected up between the antenna and the television set. Now the system is ready. With a well-aligned antenna, you can now receive most European programs or even stations on other continents. Some of them, like Euronews, Eurosport or Super Channel, broadcast in various languages at the same time. If you want to receive the programs from two satellites, all you need is a double antenna. And if that's still not enough, electrically adjustable antennae can lock on to the position of any satellite at the touch of a button. 
With equipment of this kind, you can receive over 100 programs. And who knows, one day you might see something completely different. You're watching TV 13, telling you what's happening on Utilsat.